Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. I hope everyone is doing well here today. It does seem... Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. There's gonna be so many farmers dropping on in. We must lock it on in. Come on, CX9. Guys, I landed on the striker. Just remember that. Oh my god, this gun's a yapper. Oh, uh, what were... <sighs> it's the only bad thing about the CX-9 here, man. <laughs> um, okay, we will... Oh, is it coming on in? Hold. Good pick. Let's oh, this dude's go. in. Come on, baby. Let's go freaky deaky. Let's go freaky deaky. Okay, Mr. Mario. It's a me, it's a me. Uh, oh, is this a... Fellow Nighterman? Oh, he's going around town. Come on there, fella. Uh, he's gonna be bottom floor. Hey. Oh, kinda sounds like there's also uh, another dude. Oh. Might be uh, trying to third peek. Yes, he is. Good. Okay. Man, also using Striker. Dude, I think in my current position right now, I can easily get uh, one tapped. Thank you. Oh, another dude? You're in like two different sets of uh, feet. Some guys off over here. The revive flight will arrive. Thankfully, this does sound like a populated uh, lobby here too, man. Oh, let's do full uh, heal. Trying to... Oh. Hold. Oh, man's in. Oh, this guy's burning. This guy's totally dead, right? Yeesh. So many igniter users here for this season as well here, man. Uh, I don't think I want to fully go inside of his plane. Oh, uh, because I don't want to... Oh, is he still burning? Yes, he is. Okay, sir. Thank you. I'd really love to uh, go and loot. My guess is that there's still going to be so many other dudes down below. Uh, gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. Do you have grenade to cook? That's not gonna hit. Okay. I have no... I have no regret doing this. Man's inside. He bolted! Oh my god! Another dude? Oh, I'm also burning, uh, dude. At the same time. This dude is fake bot. There is man using Krig right down under. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is extremely filthy. A question that I did really want to ask everyone here, too, is what has been everyone's primary gun here for this season? Because uh, if I'm being honest, man, like there is a specific gun that I'm going to be using here. That one and received such an insane buff for this season. Oh. Um. Here, let's go get some height advantage here. And it's Igniterman, and he's going to be kind of yeah, holding that. Coming. Uh. Oh. Yo. Baby. Yo. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man, right, because I have been having to change my playstyle so much with using Igniter. Oh, uh, this dude legit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to yoink guys, Craig. Oh, yeah, they're even... Okay, snipers all the way off over yonder. Ooh, a little boom boom. I didn't see a whole lot of... Was I in the... I guess I was in the vicinity? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, this dude's down right here. Good, the Voldemort. Sniper. Okay, we lead in with... Oh, lead in with some smoke. We'll do igniter. Oh, this man's fully backing off. Oh, he is fully backing. Man, I have so much respect. For everyone that, like, uses just a normal 
default variant there of what? That was the Krig? This is Mythic Growl. Like, Mythic Growl is Chef's Kiss. There is an enemy heli that's going to be right up on my back here. But for everyone that doesn't know, the S36... Oh, this dude just dipped down over. S36 just went and received a damage buff here for this season. Heli's going to be a little bit farther back. This dude is going inside a valley. Oh, he's right here. Yo. Is that? Oh, my God. He's using long-range... Long-range striker. Come on, baby. I think I still want to be aggressive here. Yeesh. Burn. Good. Dude, I'm going to be using two separate S36 loadouts here, by the way. One with a red dot and then one without and then obviously the one without i'm gonna be able to have like another attachment and it's gonna be kind of all up to you guys to uh let me know like which variant is better here because in a way i'm almost thinking that the second variant might be the best option between the two where these dudes gotta be like up top here no I'm almost uh, tempted to hop in. Oh. Okay, bro. They're even using Scout. Just. Here, guy, right behind. Oh. Hey. Bro, the power of spam ability that you have here, too, with this. It's not even more. Come on! Oh. Oh, uh, maybe. Striker lead. That guy's wild. No, he fully marked. Keep her moving. That is... Okay. Dude does appear to have good movement. Can fully take our time. This is such a nice lobby, by the way. I, I swear, all day yesterday... The lobbies were extremely modified. Was he? Oh, he was definitely going to be doing that uh, BY15 lead. Okay, we have really juiced on up here. Let's go. Okay, there's also going to be dudes right up on my right side. They're going crazy with the shot. Good. Voldemort. This dude's going to be right down under. Oh, uh, this dude is giving me bot me vibes, but I think the dude that might have been railing was real. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this dude's getting some nice height. Oh, does he see me? Oh, this is SMRS user. Hey. Yeah! It's just one of the reasons why I wanted to try this loadout out with the red dot sight is because I think if you do want to make the S36 be like a good universal gun, you have to make it be good at close, medium, and long range. And then I think that red dot sight does help with more of the long range aspect here. They're gonna be attempting a little bit of jet play. I know that there's gonna be a dude right behind me. I do see there being like a bigger team. Okay, and this whole team is gonna be actively moving on in. Um, how do I wanna do this? I know that that whole team, and I think it is just a uh, 1v. Oh, wait. Old. Good spot. Right, these dudes are all gonna be right down here. Okay, this might be low IQ. Oh, quick striker is gonna be right over yonder. It's gonna be right here. Come on there, baby. So good. One of the big things that I'm noticing here with the S36 is that at range, you can really see the recoil. Like, maybe AK-117 might be able to have that, like, slight advantage. But then again, right, if you go and gas up, like, the right mods, then maybe you might be able to go and outpace it here at range. Yeah. Okay, boys, let's hop into game number two and try the second loadout here. Ooh, little... Okay, these are uh, two gentlemen. So for game number two here, I'm going to be using a loadout... Without the red dot sight? Oh, right. That guy's going to be... Or down... Oh, he's right on custom. Airdrop in right, that's the real dude. There's no way, right? That has to be a little trickster meta. This might be a bad push. 
Oh, right. That dude's still right on loadout here, man. They have just like such a... Right, their angle is way too hard. Okay. We are good. We are good. They want to push on off. Oh, that dude's pushing. Come on, baby. Good. Go. Good. Come on. Right, he just doesn't want to go inside my flames here, man. Holy. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can do full of more. Just once again, the thing is, they have such a superior little lip here. Is he still right on this? This dude's all the way back. Come on there, baby. We're doing a little cluster. Oh, good damage. I'm so happy that one didn't hit. Wasn't there a... Uh... Oh, my God. Who this? Give me, give me a... Okay, that is just straight up bot me. It's, it's weird, man, because it's like, ooh, he's doing resi. Even though I don't think a red dot is 100% necessary, I do feel like I am more accurate at range, and I am down to go and give you guys like both of these loadouts here just so y'all can kind of figure it out here for yourself because I am using the disabled perk on this. I mean, if you're one of those players in which you do feel confident. Oh my God. Oh, this was the dude that was definitely rambling some shots. Oh, and that other dude's definitely doing resi. Come on there. I mean... Dude, it's so insane. Like, the S36, genuinely, I do believe this is uh, leagues better than AK-117, man. Even though this gun might not have, like, that same aim assist. Oh, that's a pretty big team. And once again, these dudes have a really, really filthy angle here, too. Um. He's oh. right here. Good. Oh my god. It is so insane. It is so insane. Ooh, come on over. This man in uh Okay, that man's in motorcycle. I wouldn't mind maybe attempting to do a little ramming. Oh, these dudes are coming back on in. They're going right for green here. Okay. Well grenade. That's gonna be gnarly. Come on, baby. Yes! So good. Even though I think AK-117 does have better aim assist, I still think S36 is superior here, man. As always, be sure to let me know here if I'm just absolutely delusional in the comment section down below. But, right, especially you pair it here with the whole, like, bullet impact and game mechanic. You compare it to the damage buff that S36 went and got here for this season. Oh, uh, this dude would only be a scout, man. I think he's going to be, like, right up on a rock over here. It's so weird, man. Like, I've already seen comments here. Air oh, yeah, yeah. Coming. From people saying how different my gameplay is just due to me not being a pumper. And trust me, man, I, uh, I feel it here. Like, I want to be so much more aggressive in certain gunfights. But I'm not able to go into it. This dude's using a new MG. That gun is also such a ripper here. The safe zone is collapsing. Okay. Oh, he's in a really good spot. Wish I had some uh, more grenades here, man. I went kind of crazy. Uh, it's probably going to be able to uh, get res off. I really do when I do have to uh, move in. Good. Come on! Okay, 1v2 situation. I already know where all these... Oh, whoops. Oh, that man is on a microphone. I think... Right, this dude's inside a motorcycle. It's just the one thing here, too, with Igniter. Because I have a uh, feeling a lot of uh, pumpers might have also swapped on over to Igniter. One of my biggest recommendations is trying to get your upgrade here for this class. We know that this dude's going to be far off on that side. 
Does Ivan think, like, don't get me wrong. Do I think Mythic AK117 is better than S36? Yes. But I know, right, like, not everyone owns Mythic AK117. So this, I believe, is genuinely the better option here. Like, if you have, if you're comparing S36 to just, like, a breed of play AK117, yeah, man, I think I would prefer S36. Dude, I th oh oh, uh, dude's up top. He's going all the way up. He's probably gonna do just uh oh, and he's a uh, pumper. I can see this man probably doing the whole like pumper up on top of here where I'm at. Other dude's move. Yeah, right, dude. Did I not call that? gonna be hurting right oh uh. huh? come on good okay demon Humperman directly up top I'm gonna play this smart right we can do full kinetic poppage surely I am good we have 30 seconds here baby this dude, wait, where did that? Oh, am I good? Oh my God, am, am I thrown? Okay. Is almost ready. This dude is, I believe, directly up top. Also for the hip fire here too, it's so good. Uh, he's popping big full and juicy. We can do full of mort. Oh, good damage. Oh, there's even like a little hole right there. Yeah, hey, come on, baby. Okay. Oh! Winner! This is gonna be the first build here with the classic red dot sight. This is more supposed to be for the overall universal type of build for medium, close, and long range. And then this was my loadout here for game number two. I swapped out that red dot optic here for the disabled perk. Y'all can let me know here once again what y'all have to say about this build here. But I think both of these loadouts, just kind of depending on your play style, are both extremely solid.